Well, it's been over a week since Master Duel has been released and, well, does it still hold its appeal? Hi, to local dragon lady here. So as I mentioned in the past week, we've all been glued to Master Duel. Me, not so much because the appeal has slowly been going down. I'm going to get into that in more detail in a minute. Now, apparently Master Duel is also being rolled out for iOS and Android. Now, I haven't been seeing it in the App Store as I record this, and this is an iPhone 12 Pro. So I don't see any reason why this wouldn't be compatible with it. But anyway, okay, I have not been playing Master Duel all that much. Reason for that being is I am now in Platinum Rank. Platinum Rank is when you begin to see the more competitive decks. Now that's not the issue. The issue is competitive decks are more combo based. And what happens with that is the animations. Now. When this game was announced in the trailer, it looked really nice. You saw a few summoning animations. However, the problem with that is it makes the game a lot longer. So even the little thing that you can go into your settings and turn off the special summoning settings. So like if someone Link Summon, Ritual Summon, Synchro, Wexy, Fusion, you, you, you don't have to watch the special animation for that. But even the little things, uh, when you select a card, you have to put an option, you know, select the option to, you want to play this, you want to activate this. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, these are a few options I kind of wish Edo Pro had, so it reduces the odds of misclicking. But then we have, oh, when a card is activated, you get a tiny glow with, an, with a sound effect. Um, they all add up to the time. Uh, if you watch here, I have been playing, the last duel I played was against a Prank Kids deck. Prank kids, they're not that bad at all, but with all these animations, the little options, and the, the wait time, whether my opponent has a has a response to anything that I do, uh, it, it just takes an incredibly long time. Now, this duel alone probably took me 30 minutes plus. Now, I did win at the end. I, I think it's just because my opponent didn't really know what incantations are and what they did, because I, I kind of used most of my moves to uh, bait out my opponent's uh, card effects. And once I got Chaos Max out, like that, that, that was it. Uh, <laughs> I just went in for the game. But oh my goodness, yeah, that was 30 to 40 minutes of my life that I am not going to get back. And that's the thing. It's not the Duelist's fault. It's not the deck's fault. It's just... I don't understand why Konami did not see this coming. You know, you every video game has play testers. Did they have anybody that built top tier decks and played them against each other with the animations off and on? And well, they must have noticed that this takes a really long time and this can cause some duelists to just say, you know what? I got other things to do. I just wanted to play a quick game and they're probably not going to log on as much. That is what I'm doing. Right now, the only thing I do with Master Duel is I just log on once a day, go to missions to get my login prize. That's pretty much it. Um, I might duel once a day, but I just have no time for it. If I want to play a quick game, I'm going to go on Duel Links or I'm just going to go on Edo Pro and Nexus. Sure, the combo decks can still take a long time, but with no animations, it goes by half the time. And even with my duo prank kids, uh, even when sped up, the, the, the replay itself is like five minutes. So that should be saying something. Um, however, I will not be getting rid of Master Duel. I still enjoy the peer-to-peer -peer play. Uh, on my sh the last stream I did, uh, I did dual viewers on Master Duel, and it's still very, very nice. Uh, when you can create your own room, you can still create your own dual room pretty much the same way that you can in Duel Links. 
uh, give out their room number, people can either spectate or enter, and I can play with each person one by one. So yes, I'm definitely going to keep Master Duel for streaming at the very least, but as far as a competitive duelist, no, no, I just got no time for this. Now, there's another gripe I have is with the shop. Now, we have the normal packs, you know, the Star Wars Force, uh, Revival Legend, Master Pack, those are all, you know, fine. But the secret packs, the secret packs have a time limit, which I don't really understand. Now, you access these secret packs by dismantling cards. So, if I want to create a deck, let's just go to my Ritual Control, for example. If I wanted to create a card, I have to take cards that I don't need, like certain ultra rares. Um, I can dismantle them and regenerate cards that I actually need. Once you do that, you unlock a secret pack. So if I were to dismantle a blue eyes card, for example, then a booster pack that caters to blue eyes is going to open up. But it has a 24 hour time limit. It does not make sense. I don't know why Konami went with that route. Uh, if anything, it will motivate people to play uh, ranked duels more, to earn more gems, play the solo mode, and spend more gems, or even actual, you know, real money to get the cards that they want. Now, you can make the argument saying, okay, well, listen, just buy a bunch of packs and, ma you know, packs and master, master pack. Just, you know, dismantle the cards and build the ones that you want. But you have to understand that one, uh, dismantling cards, uh, an ultra rare, uh, just gives you 10 ultra rare points. And to create an ultra rare card, you need 30. So you need to dismantle three ultra rare cards just to build one ultra rare that you want. It's the same story with you know, the supers, the rares, and the normal, normal cards. So, yes. Um, now, Everyone else seems to be having a fun time in Master Duel. However, that is the biggest gripe that I'm hearing from the, from the general community, in all honesty, is simply the animations. So as like I said in my previous videos with Master Duel, if you're going to play Ranked Duels, clear your schedule, make sure you have got nothing else to do that evening because you're going to take a really, really long time. Uh, as far as a competitive engine is concerned, Master Duel is, is uh, bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, stick to Edo Pro if you want to test out a deck. And that's another thing too, there is no test hand option, which would be really nice. If you just want to test out a deck before you go online, you have to go to solo mode, which unfortunately isn't really that good. If you just want to do quick test hands, there's no feature like that in here. So Konami, maybe you should have that feature. That would be really nice. So anyway, um, that's just my opinions on Master Duel. Um, I'm keeping it, but I'm not going to be playing it nearly the same level as Duel Links. Primarily due to the time, but who knows? Maybe maybe Konami will uh, take these criticisms to heart because a lot of people have the same opinion. You know, the animations, even the little ones, are adding up, and it just takes too long to play a game. But the peer-to-peer -peer feature is nice dealing with friends, dealing with viewers. So anyway, what do you all think? Uh, this is probably going to be the last video I'm going to make talking about Master Duel because <laughs> there's very little else to talk about unless there's a major update. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, if you have different opinions about it, it was still the best thing ever. And uh, remember to be a good sport too. Play the game, not the fame.